So if I'm looking through a list of places to travel to and Craters of the Moon is pretty a pretty unique name, why is it called Craters of the Moon? That's a great question, and it's a question that a lot of uh, visitors ask us here at the uh, the front desk. And you know, the reason is because early on, um, you know, in, in in the history of this national monument, you know, we were established in in 1924. Early visitors felt that craters of the moon looked um, very much like we might expect uh, the surface of the moon to look. Um, craters of the moon is made out of basalt. The moon is made out of basalt. Um, there's craters from volcanic eruptions here on the landscape. There's craters on the moon uh, for a very different reason. Those are impact craters on, on the moon. Um, but uh, we felt that this place, not only does it have an otherworldly feel, but we also felt that um, um, the surface of the moon might look a lot like um, what we see here at Craters, craters of the Moon. So uh, that's kind of how... Uh, it got its name, an early explorer, uh, Robert Limbert, crossed the monument uh, early 1900s and wrote an article that appeared in National Geographic in 1924 entitled Amongst the Craters of the Moon. And that's kind of how our, our name sort of uh, stuck. And that eventually led to having connections with NASA. Well, absolutely. That's correct. Um, you know, because of the fact that we felt that the surface of the moon may look similar to what we see here at Craters of the Moon. NASA felt that it was a great place for um, astronauts to come and to study geology. Um, this was relative to the Apollo uh, moon landings, and um, at that time, astronauts were, were not scientists. You know, they were, they were fighter uh, pilots, they were test pilots, they were guys that had the right stuff. They, they were not scientists. And, um, but a big part of the mission of going to the moon was to try to learn uh, the moon's origin. And to do that, geologists, or astronauts rather, had to bring back samples of, of moon rock that would be of interest to uh, scientists, to geologists here on Earth. So they had to have a crash course in studying geology. So, so NASA brought astronauts here during the Apollo missions. Not all of the astronauts were here, but some were here, and they were uh, force-fed geology, um, which uh, they understood the, the relevance and the importance to the mission. And it's because of the rocks that we brought back from the moon that we now have a working theory of how the, uh, the moon formed. 